Digital creatures and artificial life aren't restricted to academic projects like Tierra, so we asked Trude Mostu from TV's Vet School to review the new phenomenon of digital pets. The first package is called Creatures. You breed your own small creatures called norms. You have these small eggs. You can choose what egg you want to use and they've got different sexes. I can put this egg in the incubator and the egg is hatching and uh, this norn will appear and you have to teach this norn how to eat, uh, when to sleep. You've got all the different factors that would influence a life form but it's actually up to you to start off things and to do things otherwise this little creature will die. Depending on what sort of egg you're hatching um, you can get different types of personalities of these norns which is quite fun actually because you can actually end up with a mutant. Um, you can end up with a quite uh, psychotic one, very intelligent one, a very stupid one. You can teach it uh, to communicate and you can train it. It's exactly the same principles as when you're training a puppy. If it's doing something wrong, you can slap it. In general, I think it's uh, a quite good idea, uh, especially for uh, children. Um, you can almost feel sad if it dies. <laughs> This is um, the latest craze in uh, Japan. It's called Tamagotchi, and this means a uh, lovable egg. I'm the first one to have one in Britain, and I'm very proud of that. Uh, I wish I <laughs> understood how it was working. It would be very helpful with an English uh, instruction coming with it. But there you go. The principle is that you've got an egg, and you're trying to care for this egg and make it hatch into a chick. This chicken can also produce feces and you have to try to get rid of them, which I am not very good at. As you can see, there's loads of them there. You're caring for this egg for a long time and if you're really good cleaning up after it, feeding it properly, um, you'll end up with a, a big chicken on here. And apparently in Japan, you know, that makes people really impressed if you can show that you managed to uh, raise a, a chicken. Now, I just can't understand how this can be so popular. Maybe it just reflects that Japan, that it's got so many people there. Instead of a pet, this is uh, what they come up with, a little electronic chicken. Whether that's going to be popular in Britain or not, um, I haven't got a clue. I wouldn't think so. Do you want to see my fish? I'll eat it. <laughs> this software package is called Cybertation. Uh, it's based on... Uh, uh, playing around with genes in, in general terms. Uh, you can combine different combinations of DNA pools and gene pools and you will end up with um, different shape and forms. The most popular ones you can actually um, send to other people or show to other people via the internet. They can actually load it onto their own program and breed it with other kind of gene pools. It really depends on how many genomes you start off with, uh, how complicated the, the creatures are. These things you create here, they haven't actually got ears and noses and legs and arms like these have. So I think it maybe would be more fun if you could actually mate a teddy bear with a cow, for instance, which is, would probably be quite difficult. <laughs>